welcome to another deep dive. Today, um, we're taking you inside a world that's, well, it's straight out of science fiction, mm -hmm. but trust me, it's very real. The operating room of the future. Yeah. Powered by artificial intelligence. Absolutely. Now, we're not talking about robots like running the show entirely. Mm -hmm. It's not yet. Right. Think of this deep dive as your insider's guide to understanding how AI is already at work in surgery. Yeah. Making procedures safer, more effective for patients like you. Mm -hmm. We've got some eye-opening research here, so buckle up. You know what's truly remarkable is how diverse AI's contributions to surgery actually are. It's not just one magic button. It's a whole collection of technologies, each with its own strengths. Right. Take machine learning, for example. Yeah. It's like giving a computer a crash course in thousands of past surgeries, allowing it to analyze that data and identify patterns we might miss. Okay, let's unpack that. What does that actually look like in practice? Well, imagine you're a surgeon preparing for a complex procedure. Machine learning algorithms can analyze your patient's medical records, imaging scans, even their genetic information to calculate the likelihood of specific complications. Yeah. That gives you the power to anticipate potential problems before they even arise and adjust the surgical plan accordingly. So it's almost like having a super-powered crystal ball yeah. that helps surgeons make more informed decisions. Precisely. And this is particularly valuable in those critical moments during surgery when every second counts. You know, AI is also revolutionizing how surgeons actually visualize what they're doing during an operation. Think about traditional laparoscopic surgery where you're working through tiny incisions. Not a lot of room for error there. Exactly. Now imagine combining that minimally invasive approach with computer vision, another branch of AI. Using special cameras and sensors, AI can create a real-time 3D model of the surgical field that's far more detailed and comprehensive than what the human eye can see alone. Wow, so it's like upgrading from standard definition to ultra high definition right in the middle of surgery. That has to be a game changer for surgeons. It absolutely is. This level of visual clarity allows for incredible precision, especially during intricate procedures. It's like having a high powered magnifying glass, but instead of just magnifying, it's also highlighting critical structures and potential risks in the surgical field. It's like the difference between navigating by sight and having a super accurate GPS guiding your every move. That's a great analogy. And what's fascinating is that this AI-powered guidance isn't limited to just the surgeon's eyes. Mm -hmm. It can also control robotic arms with incredible precision. Okay. These aren't the clunky robots of the past. We're talking about instruments that can make movements as delicate as a human hand, if not more so. So it's like having an extra set of incredibly steady, hyper-precise hands assisting in surgery. Exactly. And what's even more remarkable is that these AI-assisted robotic systems can filter out tremors and minute movements that even the most skilled surgeons might have. Wow. This level of precision is particularly crucial in procedures where even the slightest error could have significant consequences like neurosurgery or ophthalmology. It's amazing to think how this technology is pushing the boundaries of what's even considered possible in surgery. But I'm curious, with all this talk about AI and robotics, what does it mean for the surgeons of tomorrow? How does AI change surgical training? Well, imagine a world where surgical residents could get hands-on experience in a wide range of scenarios and procedures without ever having to step foot in an actual operating room. A risk-free training ground where they can make mistakes and learn from them without any real-world consequences. That's right. And that's precisely what AI-powered surgical simulations are starting to offer. These simulations use virtual reality to create incredibly realistic operating rooms, complete with lifelike anatomical models and virtual surgical tools that respond just like the real thing. So instead of practicing on cadavers or observing surgeries, future surgeons could be honing their skills in a virtual world guided by AI every step of the way. Absolutely. And the beauty of these AI-powered simulations is that they go beyond just recreating the visual and tactile experience of surgery. They also provide real-time feedback and analysis of the trainee's performance. Imagine an AI system that can track every movement, every decision a surgeon makes during a simulated procedure. So it's like having a personal surgical coach analyzing your every move, identifying areas where you might need to improve. Precisely. The AI can then tailor the training program to focus on those areas, providing personalized feedback and guidance that's far more comprehensive than what any human instructor could offer. This type of immersive AI-driven training has the potential to revolutionize surgical education. It sounds like AI isn't just changing how surgery is performed today. It's shaping the next generation of surgeons, making them even more prepared and skilled than ever before. 
But with all of this incredible technology at our fingertips, mm -hmm. I think it's important to remember that the ultimate goal here is to improve patient care. You are absolutely right. And one of the most exciting ways AI is doing just that is by helping to personalize surgical treatment plans. It's like tailoring a suit. You want the surgery to fit the patient perfectly, not the other way around. That's a great way to put it. In the past, surgical decisions were often based on averages and probabilities. But with AI, we can move towards a future where treatments are precisely tailored to your individual needs and characteristics. So tell me more about how that works. Uh -huh. What kind of information is AI using to personalize these treatment plans? Well, imagine feeding an AI system everything we know about a patient, their medical history, genetics, lifestyle, even data collected from wearable devices. By analyzing all of this information, AI can help identify subtle patterns and risk factors that might not be apparent to a human doctor. Interesting. This in turn allows surgeons to personalize every aspect of the surgical plan from the type of anesthesia used to the length of hospital stay. So instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, we're entering an era of precision medicine in the operating room. Precisely. And this level of personalization has the potential to significantly improve patient outcomes, minimize complications, and even speed up recovery times. This has been an incredible journey so far. From AI-assisted robotics to personalized treatment plans, we've covered how AI is changing the game in surgery today, but I can't help but wonder what the future holds. It's a question that sparks the imagination, doesn't it? If we've come this far in just a few short years, imagine the possibilities that lie ahead. Will we one day see fully autonomous robots performing surgeries? What other breakthroughs are on the horizon? It's hard to say for certain, but one thing's for sure. The line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. The advancements we're seeing in AI are happening at an unprecedented pace, and it's exciting to think about how they'll continue to shape the future of surgery. It's clear that AI is not just a tool. It's a force that's pushing us to rethink the very nature of surgery and its potential to heal. As we venture further into this uncharted territory, one thing remains certain. The patient experience should always be at the heart of every innovation. Well, that about wraps up our deep dive into the operating room of the future. We hope you're walking away with a sense of wonder and maybe even a few conversation starters for your next checkup. Until next time, thanks for joining us.